travel full-time or part-time, you have to be prepared to meet your basic needs like water, food, and power. Like, if you're out in the middle of nowhere, how are you going to make sure that your cell phone is charged, or your laptop, or some power tools if you have an emergency, or how are you going to power a CPAP? Or maybe you want to power other things like an Instant Pot, or an air fryer, or your hair dryer, or a sewing machine. Of course, you can use a noisy gas generator or get an expensive solar setup, or you can use a portable power station like this one from Jackery. This is the brand new Jackery Explorer 1500 and I got a sneak peek at it. It is the most powerful box that Jackery has made yet. Today I'm going to tell you how this little box, all in one, can power almost everything you might need out on the road, how it works, and how much it is. When I started out full-time on the road, my little rig was full of these weird little charging devices and there were cords everywhere and my generator would run part of the time and my solar wasn't quite getting the job done. And then I discovered these portable power boxes. Over the years, these things have just gotten bigger and better. And my favorite brand, Jackery, has come out with the biggest one yet. This is the 1500 watt Explorer. You may have seen me do some other reviews on a 1000 Jackery or a 500 or other brands that have less wattage than this one. Here's the difference. This looks like the same Jackery that we've seen before, but this powers so much more than the ones before it. Let me tell you how this works. Everything you need to power household appliances or charge any of your devices is right here in this box with no wires. That means you don't have to have a wire that goes to a generator and you don't have to have an expensive solar setup where you have a charge controller and an inverter and a whole bunch of batteries that are expensive and are taking up space. There is a lithium ion battery in here with an inverter. So basically, that battery is making power in here that can be read through this 12 volt port. So if you have something like a 12 volt refrigerator, you can plug it in here. But if you have a household appliance, you can see these regular household outlets are here. That's what the inverter does. The inverter changes the power so it can be read by your appliances. I'll stop here and say, if you don't know what you need, head over to my blog at creativityrv.com. In the upper right-hand corner, you're going to see something that says subscriber resources. Subscribe, and I have a spreadsheet that actually lays out the different jackeries, what wattage they have, what ports they have, how much they cost, and then down below, it gives you a guide to tell you what you need based on what appliances you're charging. In addition to the 12 volt outlet, and the three household outlets you see down here. It also has two regular USB ports, USB-A, which is what powers a lot of devices, maybe your tablet, your laptop, rechargeable USB devices, and it also has a USB-C port. Unlike the less powerful version of the Jackery, this one can really charge some powerful items or multiple items at one time. When the pandemic first hit, I went to Mooch Dog on a friend's property in Colorado, and it was still March, which is really snowy there. Well, it was a sunny day, but I had to take a really hard right turn in my big fifth wheel, which is 35 feet, to get up to his property. It looked fine from the road, which was this windy mountain road with a bunch of people behind me. Looked fine, but when I started to pull in, it got sharper. Well, my truck in the front of my rig did just fine, but I saw the back of my rig was going over a snowbank and all of a sudden I lurched to a stop. The backside of my RV was stuck out in the road. Luckily there was a cop there that helped us direct some traffic while we tried to figure out what to do. We looked under my RV and hidden under that snowbank was a tree stump and a metal pole that somebody else had knocked over. The snow went over it, I didn't see it, and it was jammed up under my RV. Luckily we had access to another power box like this one, but it was only a 1300 but that powered my friend's metal grinder and we were able to get underneath my rig like you can see here and actually grind away the tree stump and that metal pole so we could get loose and, and pull out of that road. If we had not had that power box, I don't know what we would have done. Now, of course, this thing does not run off fairy dust. It has to be charged 
in order to power the other devices, but it's easy. You can charge it with a solar panel. I'm gonna tell you about that in a second. You can also charge this by plugging it into a regular wall outlet. My favorite way to charge these when I'm on the move is in the car. Literally, you just plug it into your regular cigarette lighter in the car and then into the box. You know, I was thinking if I ever go into a van, I don't think that I would put solar on the roof or a bunch of batteries in there because it's hard to find a place to put batteries in a van and if you want to be stealth, you don't want people to see all those solar panels on the roof. I probably would just do a Jackery, if it were me. Tell me in the comments below what you think, but you can have this plugged into your engine all the time and then have your devices plugged into here. It does have a pass-through, so we can be charging and your devices can be powered at the same time and it's super stealth. This is the Jackery Saga 100 watt solar panel. This doesn't come with the Jackery, but I wanted to show it to you because I actually charge my Jackery with these panels. Again, I'll give you the links for it down below if you want to go check it out. But I've had a few of these portable solar panels, and this one is like by far the best. It's lightweight, it charges things quickly, but my favorite part is that it folds up and it has a handle so it's easy to carry, just like everything Jackery does. And in the back, it has an arm that pops out, so you can put it at just the right tilt to get the sun. You plug it right into the Jackery and plug it into the panel, and that's it. After it's charged, this thing can run a really long time depending on what you're using it for. So in this panel, it's gonna tell you exactly how much power you have, how much you're making if it's charging, and how much you're using. Now I know what you're wondering, how much does it cost? The Jackery 1500 is $1,499, and wait, I know that's a lot of money. But if you're out on the road, you have to figure out how to get your power. Everyone's gonna have a different need. Now, some people are going to choose expensive onboard generators or external generators, but along with that comes the cost of the gas or the propane down the road. You can also have a big solar setup. If you have the space on your roof to even have solar and pay for that installation, which could be multiple thousands of dollars. So just consider your options. A power box like this could be expensive, but it also works right out of the box. You don't have to know how to do anything like installing a solar system to use one of these. There are so many options out there and I hope that this video helps you choose the best one for you. I hope you're all doing well out there. Have happy travels and be free.